The Indian Navy is exploring collaboration with the private sector for the development of replenishment at sea and fueling at sea systems that are currently sourced from foreign manufacturers. India's first ever center for cyber operations and security known as Shenkops is all set to be operational very soon and 88 crore rupees have been allocated to this ambitious project. UAE-based Caracal has started negotiations with various state security forces to offer its modern CMP9 submachine gun and CSA-338 sniper rifle. Goa Shipyard Limited will build 24 cargo ships for Russia, that will be deployed in the Caspian Sea. Sagar Defense has briefed chiefs of 12 foreign navies on its autonomous weaponized boat swarms at the Goa Maritime Conclave. The Army is procuring 423 electric motorcycles, that will be deployed in planes and semi-hilly terrains. The 1st LCH Squadron of the Indian Army based in Assam, has successfully carried out the inaugural firing of 70mm rocket and 20mm turret guns of Prachan light combat helicopter in both day and night conditions. The Titaga Rail Systems Limited has launched the second diving support craft for the Indian Navy. Indian Air Force is expecting to get DAC approval to procure additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets and Super Shukhoi upgrades for 84 fighter jets next week. Pakistan is actively testing MIRF-capable missiles to counter India's development of a ballistic missile defense system that undermines Pakistan's nuclear deterrence capabilities. At a time when the Rafale F-15EX and Gripen have emerged as top candidates for the MRFA program, latest reports indicate that the US Air Force is now intending to acquire only 104 F-15EX fighters, instead of procuring 144 fighter jets originally. The 104 F-15EX fighters will now cost $93.95 million in adjusted dollars, while Boeing had initially predicted the per unit cost to be $80 million per aircraft. The sub Gripen is expected to cost around $85 million per aircraft, while the price of the Rafale F-4 standard could be ranging between $100 million and $120 million per aircraft. Indian and Russian officials are planning to hold a meeting to discuss the final delivery schedule for the remaining two S-400 squadrons. As per latest media reports, the Russian side has not been very clear about the final delivery timelines, as they are also busy with the conflict with Ukraine, while some reports suggested that the remaining two S-400 squadrons manufactured for the Indian Air Force are being used by the Russians for their own utilization and India is now focusing to get its own systems. The Aeronautical Development Agency has entered into a collaboration with French firm Safran Data Systems, to modify the software for unified Videocom digital recorder airborne units and ground replay system, to meet the specific requirements of the Tejas Mark II. The software modifications and enhancements for both these systems will allow the aircraft to record and manage a wider range of data, ensuring that it meets the demands of modern warfare. Today's Top 3 Comments